I had a cuddly toy once. It was a little squirrel. I named him Squirrely. I was really creative back then. Uh, he still lives on my shelf at home. My name's Alice and this is my teddy called Ella. My name's Ella and this is Emily. My name is Bella and this is George. My name's Elena and this is Snowy. My name is Eloise and my teddy's name is Ted. When writing this narration, it, it was quite hard to come up with anything to say. How do you describe love or a relationship or even childhood? Everyone will have different experiences of all three and yet there emerges a shared understanding of them all. What do I say? Teddy documentary, take six. Oh, Teddy. Here we go. Teddy document. <laughs> this looks nice and new. That's what I've got out. It's a masterpiece. Teddy documentary, take six. Perhaps a relationship is like a series of cherished memories, and love is what binds them together. But is a relationship with a toy really just a relationship with yourself? Um, who's your favourite person? You. Um, what's your favourite colour? Brown. Um, are you camera shy? Uh, no, not really. I think his favourite thing is the swing. Because yeah. me and Gina love squats. They go up and down and they go fast. And I've just taught Tuna Bear how to swing by himself, but he wants to sit on my lap this time. He went mental the other day, didn't you, when you he, couldn't find him. And he went mental this morning to say goodbye to me. Mm. He's like, don't leave me, don't leave me. It's like, I have to go to school. I'll see you after school. Hello to us then, Tuna. Hello, camera. When watching Lara with Tuna Bear on the swings, it led my thoughts to my own childhood. Strangely, being a child is much like the motion of a swing. There are ups and downs, but you always end up where you started. In a way, childhood is absent of consequences, and in a way that makes it free from rules. Mummy, I don't say no peas for tuna bear. I don't want peas either. It is hard to understand what Lara sees in tuna bear. Perhaps what she sees is just a reflection of herself. Or perhaps she knows something we don't. Sometimes I do think he's alive. Well, Tuna helped me to make this picture itself, Tuna, and I've written up here, Best Teddy Filming. What we've realised is that a teddy is more than an inanimate object. It is a selfless companion. It is a symbol that everything is okay in the world. When attempting to capture this intimate bond, we were led into a world that was surprisingly similar to our own. So, the question is, what is it that we have lost? 
What can we learn from those that seem to have so much to learn? Perhaps we already know too much. Good night, Tuna Bear.